welcome back to Pandora, where we've been fighting stuff. <laughs> I know, surprise, surprise. Came back here, and I've just been fighting the Vanskari, because I ended up doing that mission for the merchant guy we met at the beginning. He only paid me 200 bucks. I figured I'd do that part, and then there'd be, you know, where we fight the people in town. They didn't have it, so I didn't earn that much money for that mission, but that's fine. Uh, and so then I've been just fighting, like, semi-good-sized groups, but nothing bigger than what we fought before. So I've just been fighting groups of Vanskaris, um, getting some loot for our new people. I got, I don't remember if I had this in the last episode, but I got this lady. And she's actually from the Raiders for Ravenstern, the Miss Mountain people, I think she is. Miss Mountain things. So, um, she joined us. I think she was cheap or free. I think, no, she was... Like a thousand, two thousand, which wasn't bad, but she got looting skills, I believe, because she's talked about all the loots. I'm double checking right now, just because I want to say she did. Yeah, she got five in looting, so that'll be pretty good later on. She's actually decent. She already had, you know, good agility, strength, charisma, so she could be a good leader one day as well. She mentioned that, um, that she was a leader at least. But we got her. I've been giving her some cool gear. Her and actually Anson are quite buddy buddies. So that's good to know. And then, let's see, I've been getting some cool troops because these Vanskaris, I don't know, they're going after the Ravenstern and they're picking up some stuff. I'm getting Ravenstern footmen. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? I got something cool. Let's see. Some archers from them. I got... Where are they? These guys. I got one of these from a captured group that I saved. So Ravenstern Squire at Arms. And then I got these horsemen. So we found out that the man-at-arms, we want to upgrade to these guys because they're pretty cool. They got some really good armor. Look like they could be some tanky dudes or horsemen. Well, I think I'm going to definitely go with the cry guard because the horseman is just this. That's all the horsemen do is upgrade to this guy, which I'm not that impressed. I mean, he's pretty good, but I think there could be some better ones. I think I need the infantry more than these guys. Um... And then I got some of these war maidens been upgrading. Look at this, they become knights themselves. That's pretty cool. And then Mad at Arms, Horse of Royal Archers. And then I was like, you know what? Our money is getting very bad. <laughs> 1500 bucks for all these troops. So I was looking through it, and I'm like, wow, these guys are not that bad. These guys are cheap because, you know, they're beginning. These guys, not so much. 15 and then they get up there. Maidens are pretty cheap. The Highwaymen, 15, but it's fine. I can get rid of them if I have to. There's only one of them. And then I was looking at these guys. These guys, 26, 15 for these noblemen. I was like, why is it really that expensive? I have 93 troops. And then I came to these guys. Vanskari Warriors. They're pretty good. I've had them for a long time. 75 a pop. That's why <laughs> each one of these guys is worth like three noblemen. It's nuts. Like, that's a horrible example. Where is it? Up here. The Venture, 15 bucks. These Squires, 26 bucks. That's insane. One guy, and he's that expensive. So what I did, I put him in the fodder group. So now when we fight stuff, I throw them in first. They're all fighting those guys so I can get my troops set up, and if they die, they die. Uh, I just figured I might as well get rid of them because that's expensive but then I found this guys that's why I started recording heretic army with 714 troops and 62 prisoners no thank you there's holy cow what are those demonic Magnus 11 of those I've seen the invokers in the Magnus worshippers 544 heretic minions I don't think I've seen those. I hope that's like people and not, you know, demonic minions or something. <laughs> it's nuts. And then there's adventures, refugee, people they've been hiring from their prisoner group, which is quite vast. But that's... These giant groups that pop up are quite scary. <laughs> like, I don't even know where to begin with those things. Like, do you just let them win? Like, I don't know. Wind down? I don't know how you would get rid of them. Black group clan? Oh, there's 21 of you. My, I want to try some different loots out, but it's just nuts. That was loud. <laughs> how big these groups are, and how much of a pain. Oh, that could have been bad. That's a red guy. That group is super quick. All right, never mind. Three. Three Sears Patrol. What is the Three Sears Patrol? Oh, they're super quick too. All right, I'm gonna go keep looking. I just had to show you that. That's a massive army. Like, thinking is like they're going to eventually either wipe out a whole faction. 
or start claiming land and then they'll start spreading thinner I don't know maybe they just stick as one giant group we'll find out but now there's let's see there's the heretics then there was the rogue guy from the empire and then we found that Jatu group which was quite large so over here it's not so great I think there was something here otherwise these guys are fighting them pretty good and now there's that group in my hunting ground so I have to go look for some I'm thinking I'm thinking we're going to go up to the Ravenstern area and try to find some more of those orange bandits. Maybe we'll find some larger groups, um, unless that group goes and passes through. But anyways, I'm going to look for some trouble. Alright, I didn't find trouble yet. I just instantly, like a little bit after I quit, um, <laughs> drums started playing and it said... As Wandering Traveler tells you that the worshippers of the snake goddess have landed an army near Ch uh, says and are invading Pendor, which is over here. So we do not want to go near the Empire for a very long time. There is now three large groups roaming this area. Look at that. That's just that's just very unlucky for those guys. Alright, this guy just all of a sudden started talking. He literally read this whole thing. Um so and so would you <laughs> tell me of uh, some of your mountain clans, traditions and history, I know nothing about your people and like to learn of them. I'm flattered at your interest in the Mist Mountains clans, I see. And would be most pleased to tell you of them. We have some interesting battle chants and epic poems. Oh, that's it? <laughs> that's just crazy. I just helped this guy. He had six troops versus some uh, bandits, so I just saved his bacon. Happy points. But that's interesting that they have these like random things pop up and like they actually talk. It's crazy. I hate to do this guys, to pop in. <laughs> this game! I did not realize so much stuff happens in this mod. Uh, I just got another message. It was a very short, quick one. Uh, you come across the monk on a pilgrimage who tells you that a powerful demonic warrior called Iagrim the Devourer is invading Pandora with an army of undead. I didn't know that was in this game. I really honest, I've never seen somebody play this mod. I just basically read the summary. Ooh, a peace agreement. The signs and cave Okay, so that's nice for them because now they don't have to fight anybody. And now they only have to fight one group. What's this? The fear saying Ah, they are made peace. They were whooping their butts. I'm surprised they didn't capture more territory. I don't think they captured any, but that was just nuts how many times that uh, group's name would keep popping up saying that it got defeated. So there's oh, so many. There's the snake people now. There's the heretics. There's the undead now. There's the rebellion army. And then there was that Jatu one, which I don't remember if it actually popped up. But we ran into them, so I'm sure it popped up. I just missed it. Um, go forth, fodder. Make daddy proud. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Put you guys. Yeah, you come up this hill. And you. This is why you're bandits. And not lords, because climbing a hill with a horse is a no-go. Come here. Come here. You started this. Come here. Oh, sure. Hide behind that tree. I see how it is, bandit. Come here. Come here. Oh, I'm going to get you. Don't you shoot me. Come on, poke your horse. Oh, hiding in the snow. <laughs> you see that? You, like, disappeared from this snow. It's pretty deep here. Stop. Just die already. There we go. Goodness sakes. Alright, you want some? These hi I'm noticing there's quite a few hilly mountain like uh, maps though. Like, I've not. Ooh, nice. Pause. I've not come across like a really big flat open field. I'm gonna be honest. But then again, I've been only fighting here and here. Um, Ravenstern and Firdvane areas, so maybe there's flatter areas, but kind of makes it a little trickier to use your cap unit sometimes. Alright, um, I was going for agility because I want to get one more point so I can have a better horse. I get five riding, then I oh shoot, I need 15 points, I just realized, not 12. Alright, that's going to be fun to work on. Uh, what do we want to do? I have 32 points, I could do some more crossbow. So I don't really need Weapon Master. Horse Archery, no. Looting's covered. Tracking, I'm sure I'll find somebody for that. Spotting, nah. Hmm. Inventory management, I'm not getting... <laughs> Our guys are too efficient. I have yet to find, like, 
a battle where I've had more than three prisoners, to be honest. Most of the time, everybody's dead. So prisoner management, not a big issue in this mod. <laughs> trade, I already have somebody with trade, and that's a party skill. I think I'm going to go with inventory management. That way, if we get in some big fights, I can gather more stuff. Because that's a personal skill, right? Leader skill, yep. I think we'll go with that one. Alright, let the battling commence. See if I can get my lance axe in. See, I want to use this lance, but some maps are just very hard to use it on. Because there's all these darn hills. Okay. I'm going to go after your horse if you don't stop. I hate to do it. But you keep running away from me. Come here. There we go. These guys won't die. <laughs> <laughs> I've thrown them at so many groups by themselves, and they just keep killing everything. They're very good. They're just expensive. Alright, did I lose any more? No, I lost Empire Hunter. 24, yeah, that's like the first wound I've had in a long time. Capture him. Refugee. I guess you become a Pandora troop. Yep, we're Pandora recruit. Alright. Let's see, what do I need? I think... Another thing I've noticed is the archers are not the best in this mod. Like, so far... Like that one instance I told you, I charged them in, I want to say there was 16 or so Vanskuri Raiders, so that could make a difference, but like my guy shot at them for like ever before I sent those other guys in there, and they didn't kill anything. Like crossbows, bows, everything. They didn't kill a single person for like five minutes. Let's go with a footman. I think we're going to go with more infantry until I find what really does some killing damage. <laughs> Could be the Vanskari usually have lots of shields, so that could have been why. I'll have to test it on some other people. I'm gonna try a warrior here. I've done the other ones. Pender Footman, I really wanna see what those turn into. Let's go one light bowman just to see. And then let's get some more trained infantry. So Pendor Lightman, okay. Cool. And then the war maiden. Maiden warrior? I don't know where she went. I guess I already had one before. Maiden Warrior. Oh, that's right. Maiden Ranger. Cool. Axe item. Wow, 40 items? There was not that many dudes. Force Bandits. Okay. I'm going to grab all this loot. Because that's pretty good. And then I'm going to go look for some more trouble or wait for something else to pop up saying horrible, horrible news. Alright. I have indeed found trouble. There's 36 Snow Wolf Clan Warriors here. So that should be some good loots. I'd end up going to a village and selling a bunch of stuff. But look, guys, we finally got one. Ravenstern Kryguard. So he's the top infantry of the Ravenstern. And he's still much cheaper than <laughs> those warriors. 42 bucks. So that's pretty cool. You got some nice plate armor. Very nice looking plate armor. Alright. I still have not gotten into Ferdsvane. I've gotten, like... Alright, I want your hat, first of all. That looks sweet. And second of all, I don't know why it keeps having drums. Alright, come face me. <laughs> Seriously, a bear hat? That'd be sweet. 149! Oh, he jumped in. I wanted to go mono a mono with these guys, because I knew we could take them. Oh, you're going to steal my hat, you jerk. Troops, give me that hat. And then fodder, go forth. <laughs> Alright, if he's going to throw his troops in the mix, then I might as well not throw my troops in the... the oh my goodness, there's so many horsemen. I have not fought these guys for a while, so... I may have forgotten about that fact. Alright. Let's go and... Goodness sakes. Come here! Come here! Stop! Stop! Too close, I can't swing. Ouch! Okay, we might... No. They got lots of troops. They can afford more troops. I'm gonna go after these little guys. Aha! Come here. Nope. Don't. Oh, that's not... That's not our guy. <laughs> I thought he was hitting him. Come here. Boom. Oh, almost had that one. Sneak attack! Oh, shoot. Okay. 
Where is everybody? There's like one guy just running for his life. Alright. Sweet. Let's check their knights out. So, if the infantry become horsemen or the cry guard, and the horsemen stop, then how do you get the knights? You must have to go after the nobles. You have to get the nobles and then upgrade those to the big heavy horsemen. It's kind of nice. And a pain at the same time. Three wounded, uh, 35, and one wound. So we actually got another prisoner. <laughs> Refugee, I can't hold them, and I don't want to work on that many, so that's fine. Let's upgrade some of these. I'm getting more money, so it's not that big. Oh, shoot, I didn't want to upgrade that guy. I forgot I wanted to keep those guys that... Oh, shoot, that's my bad. I forgot. Alright, 17 items. Let's see what these guys have to offer. I've gotten pretty good armor in the boots. We need some better gloves. And the shields I've gotten from the Van's career are not bad. Look at this. Thick metal embossed one. Otherwise, I usually get these somewhere around that. Good amount of health and resistance. Another horse. Rusty mace. So these guys not quite as good as geared I was hoping. They're kind of like mountain bandits, kind of. Alright. Well. Abandon the rest of that. Anybody else upgraded? Negative points for them. That's fine. And that is it. We didn't even get happy points. That's because they weren't engaged already. There's another one. Hmm. That's a lot of circles. Oh, it's a battleground symbol. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Combatants, 129. Huh. Alright. Let's see. What else can we do? I really don't know where to go, guys. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think. These guys may be not the best loots. The Vanscree weren't bad. The heretics were going this way. I saw them go that way. We might try for the desert. I have not been to the desert, really. These guys get involved. Yes, I'm going to go help those guys. And then we're going to go maybe check out the desert. I might see if we can find some better loot someplace else. These guys, I thought, might have some better stuff, but they don't. All right, I'm in the desert looking for some bandits or some more trouble. And I've gotten two of these things, so I decided I better show you before they all disappear. Big ol' like, sounds like Jurassic Park's about to start. Horns go off. And let's see if I can find the first one right here. Word reaches you that, mm, yeah, that was it, right? Yeah. That uh, this guy has united the Desert Warriors and now fights under the ban of Marius and Parator. And then word reaches that Merrigan... Uh, Kirlik has brought together the Griffin Sword Adventuring Company under the banner of King Ulric. So is King Ulric... He must be a person of interest. King Ulric. Mm, King Ulric. King Ulric is... Yep. Is the ruler of the Kingdom of Sarlarian. Okay, that's cool. So how did he do that? And if I can do that. 1,200 renown. Ooh, I don't even know what mine is. Where am I? Do, 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 crazy cool. 88. Sweet. <laughs> no controversy, though. That's always a plus. Oh, more stuff. Peace agreement. Uh, Empire and those. Okay, so now we're... Yeah, everybody's at peace. These guys aren't fighting them. They're not fighting anybody else. That's kind of good. I was kind of hoping something would happen and they'd either start fighting those big groups roaming around or the big groups would start picking on some of these factions and then I could kind of like sneak in and get like you know like we did with the high elves one where we able to finish off a faction and take like quite a bit of territory from them quite easily and sneakily but I have not found many bandits either they're too small and I can't catch them or that wolf scares them away with this very loud howl alright what do we got over here this desert's quite big. That's a different one. That must be from them. I'm not finding anything. I thought for sure I'd find like a bunch of groups. But I'm not finding any. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's not for a big group. See? The trouble with being a big group now. And these are not anywhere as big as those Vanscurries. I've seen Vanscurry up to like 25 or something. I think I saw one. But they're usually, oh, there's one, 25, Death Seekers. But they're all too quick. 3.7, yeah, I'm fine. Ooh. 
there's a raider's lair. You know what? Let's do it. I haven't fought anything for a while. Let's upgrade some of these guys, because you never know who's going to show up with us. Uh, let's get some more militia, and then I need to change out some equipment. Because the lance is not going to do any good in this scene. So put that there, and then... Oh, I found something cool. It was a fine siege crossbow. You needed 18 strength to use it, which makes sense, and it did 93 piercing damage. Oh, it was so cool looking. Alright, so we got to 48, 87. Yeah, that's a good one. Speed rating. A little bit slower, but more damage the better, and steel bolts. Let's do this. I think we fought one of these with a snake layer, and it kicked our butt. So let's hopefully um, redeem ourselves here. Good, we got some good friends. We got our good troops. Our friends are with us, and they got, uh, except for the new lady, she doesn't, she uses a bow, but the trouble is she also uses a lance, but I might give her a power throw and just give her some throwing weapons, but right now she got two shields, if you guys noticed. It's because I'm holding on a good shield, just in case I find somebody. Alright, let's stick together. Let's not get lost. Let's keep up. <laughs> oh, there's somebody on the ridge. I almost got him. Oh my goodness, nice shot, Julia. Oops, my bad. Recycle. Alright. Oh, I gotta reload. But yeah, it was like you couldn't use on horseback, so which I, I completely understand. 93 piercing for a crossbow, though. And it wasn't a bad price, it was like 2,600 bucks. Oh, I think we got this. These guys don't look as tough as those sisters. They got the, like, banded armor. But that would have been, like, half our... In Seriously, Julia. A little competition? Let's do this. Headshot. What now? What now, Julia? Can you get a headshot? I don't think so. I mean, he was only, like, five feet away, but it still counts. All right. Let's do this. Got to keep together. Otherwise, these guys spawn. Oh, I almost shot you, dude. I would have shot you. You might not have felt it, but I would have put a dent in that armor. Got him in the knee. Now exist. There we go. Oops. Yeah, see if you guys spread out. That's the trouble is we weren't sticking together. Dude, what are you doing? You can't climb that. And then we get picked off one by one. But yeah, these guys don't have crossbows, so that makes a big difference. Okay. Dang it. Got right past his arm. Oh, I was going for the headshot. Okay. Get him! Oh. Don't scream so much, woman. <laughs> you got armor. Alright. Boop! Got him. Okay. Go forth. Get him. I gotta say, though. Starting out with this sword was a good plus. Like, it's a good sword. She actually started, that one new lady started out with a really nice sword too. It's a bastard sword, so you can use it one-handed or two-handed. Which is fun, because the AI is pretty good about using it, right? But, that way she can use it on her horse or not. She can go beast mode. Alright, I know there's a cave over here, and usually there's some guys. Once that's cleared, then I'll let them loose. I think we got this. I'm just really hoping there's some good loot. Otherwise, I might go off to the Vanskari la uh, landing. Just because I know it'll probably pack, uh, like, pop back up soon. You know what, you guys? You probably go stand over there. And, like, shoot anyone that spawns. I can't get over the ridge. Right over there. You go shoot at those guys if you want. I got this. Let's reload before I, I don't got this. Oh. I almost had that one. Don't. Don't. God. What? Headshot. 33 damage. It was like nothing. Alright. I might need assistance here. These ones. All of a sudden. The big guys popped out. Big ladies. Stop. You boy. You're going to break my shield. No. Get her. Get her. She's crazy. Ah, there we go. I can't believe she took that crossbow bolt to the face. This poor shield. 
Again with the screaming. Oh, I almost got her. Gotta watch her back. Oh, trying to sneak in. Oh, I almost shot him. I almost. Okay, these. Ouch! These women are crazy. They got some good stuff. What is that sword? S noble saber. No wonder. Holy cow. Alright, is it clear? <laughs> I went to go do that by myself and I couldn't handle that. Alright, group up. Don't go by yourself. Don't be a hero, man. It doesn't work. My shield. I think it might be this last person. Yeah, it is. Go forth then. Go do it, Anson. Get him. I'm going to assist from up here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I hit that. <laughs> I really was expecting to have to readjust my aim, and I got him right in the shin. Oh, almost got him again. Okay, there's one, and got him again. No way. Sweet. Just to make sure. I missed that one. All right, so we got it. Ill-gotten goods. Ah, uh, it's poop. It's just nothing good here. What are these arrows at? Five damage. That's not bad. Thirty arrows. I might keep those. We do have some bow people. So let's go ahead and keep that. First is like the best thing there. Otherwise, this is all junk. So it's not very good. Like they need to make that a little profitable. It's kind of a hassle, and you have to find them in the first place. Well, that ate up some time. Let's go. I can't catch those guys. We have too many. We need like bigger groups that we can handle. <laughs> like I can pick the little guys, but I can't catch them. And then there's the big guys. I need the middle ground. You know what I mean? All right. Let's upgrade her. That'll probably be it. I'm trying to think. I'm gonna let it. Like I'm gonna wait out to see how these big groups do. If they start picking on the factions and weakening them a little bit more it might give me an opportunity but the downside is it would just be me in this big group fighting them because everybody's at peace now so I'd be the only target that they'd go after then again I have no property but there's no way I could take on a whole faction at my stance um... <laughs> I'm gonna go with probably intelligence you got some good starting skills I'm gonna work on these other skills for you though and you already have that bastard sword, so I think that counts as two-handed. And then we get some more man at arms, in case we run into trouble. And then, ooh, what's the ooh? Okay, shield, spear. Eh, I think I, I think I might try the horse. Or I think I might try to upgrade those into the knights. That might be a good idea. Get some heavy hitters. And so that means we need to go with the uh, warriors. Alright. There we go. All done. I'm going to go... Surprise, they're not a pain, so I'm going to leave those guys. I found some adventurers, but I only have like negative 10 points. And I decided just to leave them alone. What do we got here? Little groups. <sighs> I need to find a medium-sized groups. Where are they at? <laughs> Let's go to the tavern. Let's see if we can make a friend before we end this episode. Let's see what we got. We got, well, slave trader, but I just got rid of all my prisoners. Then we got Sir Jocelyn and the mercenary horseman. All right, Sir Jocelyn. I have to check my thing. If he, in fact, is uh, all good and jives with our group we got going, then I'll hire him. Otherwise, well, next episode or whatever, he'll be in our group. This guy actually got a weapon. You usually don't have a weapon. He's he's ready for trouble. And then, uh, if not, we, he's, he's going to see him later, maybe in another tavern. We'll have a drink together. And I will see you guys <laughs> next time. Bye.